my parents were saying, you need to um, settle down, get married, pop out some grandkids. And that just, wow, that threw us off. We just were like, no. Nah. <laughs> so we quit our jobs and booked a one-way flight to, um, to America and decided to pick up a little vlogging camera and start a YouTube channel. And this was in 2015. And um, yeah, we started filming our daily life every single day. 500 days straight so this, oh, was so like, this is not just traveling or this is this... traveling at the same time so we we started the youtube channel to showcase us traveling the world it was more of like a hey mom and dad i'm still alive here in america sure. or in costa rica and um i'd always had this passion for film so i really just wanted to push myself so yeah as we were traveling full time we were filming editing and uploading a video every single day. So daily vlogging. Daily vlogging, yes. Wow. And um, amazing experience. Wouldn't wish it against anybody because it is mentally draining. And especially at the same time, if you're traveling, because as you said at the top of the podcast, traveling can be a little bit exhausting, it's especially because you forget about the actual traveling bit. Yeah. Sitting in a plane for 19 hours and you're just yes. like, what's the next movie I can watch? And it can be mentally and physically draining. Yeah. So then at the same time, we're also creating videos at the same time. So my day would start, wake up at 7 a.m. We'd go out and travel, film our day, uh, then come home at about 6, 7 p.m., open up Premiere Pro, start editing it, maybe finish it at midnight, maybe 1 a.m., upload it, do a cover photo, get it ready to go out, 7 a.m. the next day, start that again. So I did that for a year and a half straight before we said, nope, this is too much. And we cut down to about three videos I'm a week. I'm not surprised because I do know a lot of people have stopped daily vlogging. The, yes. the, the ones that we always looked at. Yes. Um, because it just got too much. Yeah. It got too much, especially if you, if you are married or you've got a life other than... If you were alone doing it, mm. even then it would be a lot. But um, if you want to have a balanced life, it's very hard to do. But Definitely. the fact you did it for a year and a half, yeah, am I like right? 550 episodes wow. straight. Yeah, I mean, it definitely taught me a lot. Not only how to, you know, learn to film and edit in a, you know, quicker way, but also just the mental kind of understanding of going into this. Because once you're in that deep hole, <laughs> it's almost very hard to jump out of it. 